What is going on guys, Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about usable storage space on the new consoles. How much size, how much storage space are we going to have with these new consoles? I know it's a lot of concern, or it's a big concern for a lot of people because of, you know, game file size these days are absolutely massive. And we've already heard some info about Call of Duty being way over 100 gigs right off the bat. We're not sure exactly what Assassin's Creed Valhalla is going to be. Uh, of course, you know, Cyberpunk, all these games that are coming out are probably going to take up a lot of file size. Now, there's been a lot of information out there uh, talking about these file sizes. Now, when it comes to the Xbox, the Xbox Series X will start out with a one terabyte internal SSD storage, of course. But after you download the operating system for Microsoft, you will leave you with around 800 gigabytes of usable storage. You'll have around 800 gigs of space to save your games on. When it comes to the Xbox Series S, right now it's being reported that it's going to have less than 400 gigabytes of usable storage, which is kind of disappointing considering how big game files are nowadays. Now when it comes to the PS5, a little bit more bad news in my opinion about the PS5. It suggests that the console will have 825 gigabytes of SSD storage, but after uh, a lot of people have gotten their hands on it early, a lot of these leakers have been doing, you know, kind of early unboxing reviews, early kind of reviews of the system software itself. A lot of these people are stating there's only gonna be around 650 to 670 gigabytes of storage after the system or the operating system is downloaded on the new ps5 so overall we're not really getting a terabyte of of ssd storage on any of these platforms which a lot of us expected because every platform or every console that comes out no matter what console you purchase never really has the amount of storage that is stated because of that operating system that has to be downloaded uh, when you first purchase your console plug it in and, you know start trying to use it now overall there are some you know things you can do on every platform for microsoft they do have uh some ssd you know little little cards you can plug in the back of the xbox series s or x that you can purchase day one to give you some more extended storage the only bad thing about this is these are over 200 dollars, and i think a lot of people are going to be kind of standoffish i guess of uh how that's going to work because they don't really want to go out and buy a console and have to turn around and spend 200 more bucks on extended storage uh, when it comes to Sony, they said you will be able to use extended storage, but they never have really talked about what is going to be compatible on day one. Now, you do have another option if you're like myself and you have an extended hard drive on your old gen console. I have an extended hard drive on my PS4. You can use those with new gen consoles, but keep in mind, you cannot play any new game off of those. So only thing you can be able to play is old gen, you know, backwards compatible style games. So, for example, if you bought uh, Assassin's Creed on PS5 or the Xbox Series X, or if you bought Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War on the PS5 or the Xbox Series X, you would not be able to play those games off a old, just regular hard drive. Those need to be played off, all new gen games need to be played off an SSD. The good thing about it is you can use your external hard drives, your old external hard drives to store, uh, like I said, old gen games or to store new games. You won't be able to play uh, like I said, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, if you purchased it for the Xbox Series X or the PS5, you won't be able to play it off an old hard drive. It does need an SSD to be played off of, or the internal SSD from the console. But you can, if you don't want to delete it, you can just transfer it over to that old external hard drive and store it there. If you do get end up getting too many games eventually, and you do not have room. So that is a bit of good information, or a bit of good news, I guess. And we've known this for a good while. Now, neither Microsoft or Sony have really confirmed how long it will take to transfer, you know, new games to an external hard drive. In the past, they both did it would be very quick, but they never really gave us any exact details. So right now, for me personally, I'm just going to keep my external hard drive that I have here on my PS4 and see what kind of, you know, time it takes to transfer all these new games back and forth once I eventually do run out of space. Right off the bat, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people out there aren't going to run out of space. There's not a ton of games coming out, but in the future... You know how it gets. A year or two down the road, everyone will be having a lot of games stored on their console. Then you're going to be running out of space. People may not want to delete certain things. They may want to keep it. And that is where it's going to be a bit interesting, in my opinion. But overall, like I said, the storage situation on all platforms are kind of, it's kind of disappointing overall, uh, or just in general, I guess, considering, you know, you get told you're going to have this amount suggested by the box when you see the box. Uh, you know, you, you get your... You get your console at your house, you see the suggested storage, but then really when you get in there and you download the operating system, it's not quite as it seems. So hopefully this is going to be enough in the long run. I'm just kind of concerned about what sizes the game files will be in the future because 
most games nowadays are absolutely huge on Xbox One and PS4. And I'm kind of figuring that once we get into the new gen, it's going to be even bigger because if you look at most of these games that are also on PC, the PC files are usually a lot bigger than they are on console as well. So I think game files are going to get bigger instead of smaller. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know, are you going to go ahead and purchase a new external hard drive right off the bat? Or are you just going to use your old uh, you know, external hard drives you have? Or are you going to purchase a new SSD? Or are you just going to kind of wait it out and see what happens just kind of according to how many games you have already saved up? Anyway, guys, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.